help, my fish looks like he has gross cotton ball looking things growing out of his head. What do I do? Well, A, stop yelling at me. Two, calm down. And D, watch this video. All right, so listen, I'm gonna try to keep this as simple as possible. But before we talk about how to treat something like this, we gotta talk about why it happened to begin with. Also, this video isn't only about cotton balls growing out of your fish. We're gonna talk about fixing all kinds of bacterial infections, funguses, and all the other nasty mutant looking stuff that grows out of your fish. Are you ready? Yep. A lot of times when we see this kind of thing on our fish, it's the result of some kind of injury. Like, think about what your mom does if you get a boo-boo on your arm. Your mom puts Neosporin on it and puts a Band-Aid over it. Why? To make sure you don't get an infection. Or you could just tell them to suck it up and go play. Whether we're talking about people, dogs, cats, fish, or pretty much any living thing, it's not always the injury that's the problem. It's the infection that could happen to a wound if it's not treated that could be deadly. So if you see white spots, red spots, cotton balls, or white cloudy eyes, and you don't react, this could be a death sentence for your fish. And if you see anything else kind of crazy like that, you should definitely react to that as well. Just saying. So the question becomes, how do we treat it? Well, the first thing I want you to think about is if you had an open wound on your body, would you want to jump into pond water that looks like that? Oh, whoa, whoa, this thing is a little wobbly. You might not want to come out here. This thing is, uh, is pretty sketchy. What about like, maybe we should go over there. Okay. Don't trip. <laughs> Look at those cypress beans. better. It just stinks a little. You wouldn't want to get in this water because it's full of bacteria and all kinds of things that if you got in there with an open wound, it could cause all kinds of problems. We have to think of our aquariums the same way. If your aquarium's all funky and nasty because you've gotten lazy with your maintenance, you're going to be putting your fish in something that looks like this. We might think it's beautiful, but it's not beautiful if you got an open wound. What was that? Did you hear that? What are those? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. So if you notice a sore or a wound on your fish and your water looks like that, the first thing you need to do is a routine maintenance. Get that water right. The best medicine for your fish is clean water. water. So if you're not lazy and your water is good, well then you can move on to the next step. Cause you don't want your fish tank to look like diarrhea poop either. <laughs> You see all we do for you, we'll go all the way to a local pond just to give you an example of dirty water. I think that's enough to have earned your subscription, right? Listen, the subscribe button is right down there below the like button. Click on that. And the other cool thing about our channel is we have really cool cats. Come on, I'm gonna show you a fish I had to medicate recently. The footage you're seeing right now is from a while ago. The one fish had some severely damaged fins that we assumed was from the move from Virginia to North Carolina. And this is him now. This is after a full five treatments. You can see he's not perfect, but when his fins are damaged as bad as his were, it takes a while for him to grow back completely. And what did I use to treat him or her? I used Marison and aquarium salt. Both of these are from Fritz. Marison is a broad spectrum antibiotic that's effective against bacterial infections, funguses, gill disease, and even Popeye. Popeye is pretty scary if you've ever seen it. It's when an infection gets behind the eye and it makes the eye bulge out. Ugh. 
Fritz recommends putting the fish in a quarantine tank for treatment, but since all of the fish in this tank were affected, I just treated them in here. That just means I had to use way more medication and that can be pretty expensive. Each packet of Marison treats 10 gallons of water, so if I had moved these fish into a 10 gallon, I would have used one pack each day for five days. Since I did this in a 75 gallon, I had to use eight packs per day, and that was for five days. Yeah, that's a lot, but we had just moved. It was a long move, and I really just wanted to get these fish treated, and I wanted to do it quickly. Plus, we sell this on our website, so I just went and grabbed it off the shelf. So you notice your fish has a sore or some type of injury and you want to treat it. How do you use this product? Well, like Lisa said, you'll ideally use this in a smaller hospital tank. In a perfect world, you'll use a 10-gallon tank, because like Lisa was talking about earlier, each one of these packets is to treat 10 gallons. So you put this in there, you're done. You don't have to worry about whether you're putting too much in or not enough in. It just makes it easier. The first thing you'll want to do is remove your carbon from your filter if you're using it and then add one packet of Marison per 10 gallons. You'll repeat this for five days and then on the sixth day you do a 25% water change. Once you're done with that five day treatment, if you don't notice any improvement, you can do one of two things. You can start the treatment all over again or you can switch to Marison 2. Now here's how I want you to look at Marison and Marison 2. It's like amoxicillin and penicillin. They're both antibiotics, but they both treat very different things. So if you try Marison and it doesn't seem to be working, you can move to Marison 2. It's that easy. But John, why didn't they just combine the two and make them one super antibiotic? I have no idea. The truth is, I'm not a veterinarian, a pharmacist, or a chemist, so I have no idea about these things. I just know they work. The great thing about Fritz is they make it easy to determine which medication you'll need. They put it right on the box. Look at the box or read the description online and see if your fish's symptoms are listed. If they are, then use that medication. If they're not, then we recommend starting with Marison. If Marison doesn't seem to be working, switch to Marison 2. Marison worked for John's Goldfish and I didn't even have to use Marison 2 or switch to anything else. I dosed this tank for five days like the directions say to do and after that I've just made sure to keep their water good and clean to give them the best environment so they can heal. And it worked. That's all I need to know. I don't need to know the science behind this product. Every time I've used it, it's worked for me. And you know what? That's, that's all that needs to be said. Marison and Marison 2 are some of those products that it's good to have on hand just in case. I've said it a million times. It's better to have these and not need them than to need them and not have them. If you're looking for a place to get these, I will put a link right below the video. You'll see a little shelf down there. YouTube has been so gracious to do that. You'll see these listed. You can click right on those and order them from us. It's a great way to support the channel. We'll ship them right out to you. And also while you're over there, just below the like button is the subscribe button. Give us a subscribe. We're trying real hard to give you the best information out here. But anyway, I hope that's helped you out. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.